Most people talk about the first time they hold the brain as being the moment that the enormity of what we're doing really sets in. But for me it was the thorax. I remember seeing how perfectly the heart and lungs fit into such a small space. It was the first time I had the experience that I had to work with real people to work with. Every student had a skeleton and he had to learn how to learn the skeleton. Today I get to use the cadaver to broaden my students' understanding of the human anatomy, to turn theory into knowledge. Ukuhlenzwa kwekadava kusiza abafundi ukuthi baqonde izakhiwo zomuntu futhi kubeka isisekelo esihle ekwelapheni izifo ezihlukahlukene ngokusetshenziswa ukuhlenzwa. You would not want to have a surgeon of any specialty to do a complicated procedure or to develop a new technique on a living patient. Using these cadavers therefore give us the opportunity to train various individuals in the surgical disciplines so that they can hone their practical skills. The body donor program has helped us to have enough cadavers for teaching and research. For our undergraduate program teaching, it's helped our students develop some professional ethics in relating with their first patients. So they treat the cadavers as their first patient. To be a body donor, utusa banaba skolo, hui tuta, luhu weta e research. Jibwana ili ntuabu kwa hawulu hubane, hankabe husina batu, bane langa mibili ya bona. Nkabe rusina di teachere, di professor, di dingaka. Jika ho kibwana mbu kwa, limu limu, wabatu ba donita mibili ya bona muskolo. A textbook is a great resource but being able to touch, to feel a vein, nerve, artery, or a muscle, that is a privilege I'll forever be grateful for. And I'm sure my students are grateful for it too. From my viewpoint, I can't talk about the name of Naitani Kenny, but for her and her family, I'll be always thankful for her. I would like to thank the community for being part of this journey with us bringing us to the point where we are literally the leading anatomy school in terms of the body donor program in South Africa. And we've also been assisting our colleagues in other medical schools with cadavers. So thank you to the families of donors. Thank you, even as we welcome more donors to our program. Thank you very much.